Lovely, beautiful question, challenging question. And so, 3 sin square x plus 12 cos x minus 3 equal to p has at least one solution. Nice, lovely. And so, first of all, the sin square x and cos x, I don't want that. I want to deal with only cos square x. So, we'll say 3 times. Three times one minus cos square x plus twelve cos x minus three equal to p, or three minus three cos square x plus twelve cos x minus three equal to p, which is rather good because the three goes away. And so I have minus cos square x plus four cos x equal to p by 3. I don't want to deal with, I, whenever I have a quadratic equation, I simply like to have my square term uh, to have coefficient 1. I don't want to deal with 2x square plus 5x plus 5. I want x square plus 5 by 2x plus 5 by 2. I want to deal with x square. So I don't want to have this 3 coefficient. I divide, take the 3 that side, makes it make it 1 by 3. And then I say, okay, do it cos square x minus 4 cos x equal to minus p by 3. Again multiplying by minus 1 to simplify my life. Cos square x minus 4 cos x equals minus p by 3. I know I can think of it as y square minus 4y. It's very nice y square minus 4y equal to minus p by 3 where cos x equal to y. I've got this. I like the idea of completing the square. So I can bring the p by 3 this side and then say discriminant greater than or equal to 0 and all that. But I want to do it slightly differently. Right? So y square minus 4y plus 4 equals y minus 2 the whole square. Same funda. Cos square x minus 4 cos x plus 4 is cos x minus 2 the whole square. So I'm going to say nice. So I have cos square x minus 4 cos x plus 4 minus 4 equals minus p by 3. I'm adding and subtracting 4, that's completely fine. So this becomes cos x minus 2 the whole square minus 4 equals minus p by 3. Cos x goes from minus 1 to plus 1. So when cos x is minus 1, it will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 whole square goes to 9 and cos x is plus 1 is 1 minus 2 1 1 square goes to 9 or this expression 1 square goes to 1 goes in the range 1 to 9. How do I get that? I put cos x the minimum value, value possible for cos x is minus 1. Minus 1 minus 2 is 3 minus 3 minus 3 whole square is 9. The maximum value possible is 1. 1 minus 2 is minus 1 minus 1 whole square is 1. This ranges from 1 to 9 minus 4 equals minus p by 3. This ranges from 1 to 9. Whatever this is, that expression, the minimum value it can take is 1, maximum is 9 and can take all values in between. Nice. I subtract 4. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. This ranges from Nice. What do I do? I can just simply multiply. This is minus p by 3. I can multiply by 3. Say minus 9 to 15. The range of values minus p can take. Or p can take values from minus 15 to 9. And so lovely, lovely question. Lovely method. And so what do we do? First of all, we say nice interesting thing to start with. We have sine square x and cos x. I don't want to deal with sine square x and cos x. I'll shift out of sine square x by plugging sine square x as 1 minus cos square x. Get a quadratic expression in cos x. This, I don't want to deal with the coefficient of that x square term, the cos square x term to be negative to be minus 3. So simplify that and say, I take it that side, right? This is minus p by 3. This becomes cos square x minus 4 cos x. I know y square minus 4y plus 4 is y minus 2 whole square, completing the square. So cos square x minus 4 cos x plus 4 is cos x minus 2 whole square. I want that. Say cos x minus 2 whole square minus 4. Why? 
I'm adding 4, I have to subtract 4. Cos x minus 2 whole square minus 4 is minus p by 3. Cos x minus 2 whole square. Cos goes from minus 1 to plus 1. Minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. Minus 3 whole square is 9. Plus 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Minus 1 whole square is 1. So this ranges from 1 to 9. I subtract 4 from it, I get minus p by 3. I subtract 4 from it, that will range from 1 minus 4 minus 3, 9 minus 4, 5. That is minus p by 3. Or minus p will be 3 times that, minus 9 and 15. Plus p will be multiplied by minus 1. 15 will go to minus 15, minus 9 will go to 9, minus 15. Beautiful question. Gosh.